So what's going on guys, Matt here with Drive Tech Reviews and welcome back to yet another unboxing video. And this unboxing video, I decided to pick up a device, a phone in fact, which I've been eyeing for the past couple of years, but uh, the reason it turned me off is the price. But right here I have the May 2 M8 and uh, this phone used to retail back in the day for around 1,600 to 2,000 ringgit. Uh, but however, now the price has dropped to a mere two to three hundred ringgit so if you want to know my thoughts about this particular device do stick around so before we begin the unboxing video a sub to the channel be greatly appreciated and also ding the notification bell so you can get notified on the latest videos which i post so without further ado let's get right into the unboxing of the may 2 m8 five years later in 2021 Alright guys, so right here we have the May 2 M8 and looking at the packaging, it reminds me of the days when I used to unbox Huawei devices. I mean the ones before the P20 Pro, before the boxes became so much smaller. And honestly, in my opinion, I prefer this packaging over just say the latest iPhone, the latest Samsung because I feel that it adds a lot more value, a lot more class and a lot more experience when unboxing the device so i got this actually at a pretty good price it was going for around 290 odd ringgit at the flash sale a couple of days back and considering the price of this phone like about three to four years back this phone used to retail for a minimum of 1699 ringgit and buying a phone like this a new brand of course may too makes apps but however bringing into consideration that this is one of their very first devices i wouldn't shell out so much money for a great import set or to be called an AP set in Malaysia because if I'm going to spend almost 1,700 ringgit and above I would definitely want to have local warranty but at that time local warranty wasn't available but however this is a local made to Malaysia warranty unit and uh, spending so much less and having local warranty I mean that's a no-brainer at all all right so let's take a look at the packaging you have a very nice matte black box so on the front here you get a sort of a rose gold embossed shape of the device so you can see m8 may 2 smartphone and some chinese wordings all right so take a look at the side you can see may 2 branding i'm sure on both sides yes okay and on the back you can see the configuration i got this in so this is the 64 gb version color is ivory all right let's take a look at the unboxing experience all right so unfolding the sleeve all right so on the inside you can see may 2 m8 okay and on the right side let me unfold this very interesting packaging i'm trying to fit this on the camera right here you get the sim ejector tool you get a qr code in fact not sure what that is and then you get what comes in the box so you can see where you can pause that really for yourself so all in mandarin and then finally you have something in english so this is the warranty terms and conditions so yes very elaborate packaging and i do like this kind of packaging it gives me a good feeling when i'm unboxing a device all right, so here you get a nice microfiber cloth. In fact, embossed microfiber cloth. I do like all this attention to detail in the packaging. And I really miss the times when we used to have much more stuff to unbox. All right, so let's focus on the device itself. All right, so right here we can see the device. I have this in white and also rose gold. And of course, they call it ivory. Very nice. We'll get back to the phone a bit later. I actually did uh, try to power this on and... The phone is basically dead because considering that this phone has been sitting there for a couple of years now so let's take out the top portion all right let's start with the first box so this is the case obviously let's open it and take a quick look so when it comes to china devices usually you get everything that you need to start off so as you expected this is the screen protector let me try to get this out of the packaging so you have a screen protector already in the box so you do not have to go online and start looking for a screen protector and probably take a couple of weeks to arrive so you have a screen protector to get you all started and i think this screen protector is adequate and last but not least you have a tpu case a soft tpu case which is good enough i'm not going to ask for too much all right so right here you have the usb type c cable this phone however supports usb type c which i consider um pretty up to date of course it's not the fastest charging speed but it's good enough it's better than micro usb any day Alright, so let's see what comes in this box. All you get is a USB-C cable, which I have tons around. So I'm not going to open that. I'm going to try to keep this unboxing as quick as possible. 
Alright guys, so we have the power adapter right here. I'm not sure whether you can see the voltage. Alright, so right here we can see some Chinese wordings. You can see M8. You can see the huge top and bottom bezels. Of course, the bottom bezel contains your home button. Something like the iPhone and two capacitive buttons as well on the right and left. Alright, so on the top, let's take a closer look. We have the noise cancellation microphone as well as your SIM card slot. This does not have expandable storage. So if your 64 GB is not enough for you, that's it. So I wish they actually had the 128 GB. I would have shelled out another 50 to 60 ringgit if they had. All right. So on the bottom, we have the primary microphone, 3.5 mm auxiliary port, which is, I mean, very hard to find these days. And then we have a USB-C charging port as well as speaker grill. So this is a mono speaker setup. You're not going to expect dual speakers back then, like four to five years back. Right, so on the front we get, I bet it's a light sensor or a notification LED, I'm not really sure about that. I get the grill as well. So on the center we get a 21 megapixel camera if I'm not mistaken. And then on the right side we get a selfie flash as well. And then we have a 5.2 inch AMOLED panel. I mean for 200 plus you're getting an AMOLED panel. And basically this phone I'm going to be using for social media and stuff like that. So more than adequate. And it does have some weight to it as well. So 170 grams if you're interested. And take a look at the back. We have the same 21 megapixel camera that's on the front. Except it's on the rear. They have two. And then you have two LED flash. So which means that you get a very balanced and even image when you're using the flash. Which is pretty ingenious. Something like the TCL Plex which I reviewed a couple of months back. Alright so here you get the Mi 2 branding as well. And basically that's about it. On the side we get a selfie button as well as the power button. On the left, we get the volume rocker, usual affair. And basically that's about it. So this has a uh, aluminum frame going around it, sandwiched between glass. So overall, I'm very happy with the build quality. It's thin, it has some weight to it, and it feels solid overall in the hand. And for this price range, I will take this over any other Lenovo phone, for example, which feels like cheap plastic. So I think this, this quality is really, really very good. And I do like the feel of it. Alright, so on the inside, we get the MediaTek Helio X20, which has a Deca core, so it's 10 cores. Of course, it sounds fancy, but back in the day, not so power efficient. And you know it's a MediaTek processor, so you're not going to expect like Snapdragon level performance. So this also has a 3000 mAh battery, and it's running on Android 6.0 Marshmallow, so you're not going to expect like the latest Android OS. So this has Bluetooth 4.1 as well. So overall, I think this phone is still very relevant in 2021. And considering the price, I don't think there's anything much to complain about. Currently, the price without flash sale promo is going for around 319 We can get 319 to 320 excluding shipping. Yeah, the screen is a bit outdated. It's a bit small, 5.2 inches. We're used to the 6 plus inches devices or screen size. When you consider the value for money, I think this phone is definitely uh, the way to go. Alright, so there's been a very quick unboxing. I do love packaging like this. Please, brands, bring back packaging like this. Of course, yes, storage-wise, when they ship it, it's yeah, not so cost-efficient. But when it comes to the user experience, I do like these kind of unboxings. Alright, so there's been a very quick unboxing. If you did like the video, give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to this channel for more content just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video.